Nkrumah Bonner shines on day three of first test for West Indies as England wait on Mark Wood injury. Nkrumah Bonner's century helped the West Indies build a lead of 62 over England on the third day of the first test in Antigua, England are also waiting for. Newson the fitness of Mark Wood after an elbow injury prevented the seamer from returning to the field after lunch. A watchful 123 from Nkrumah Bonner helped the West Indies establish a 62-run lead as England continued to toil in the field on day three of the first test in. West Indies resumed on 202-4, but the tourists got off to just the start they wanted when Ben Stokes tempted Jason Holder into nicking one behind to Ben. Folks, departing for 45 in the sixth over of the day. Recommended. 1 5th. Moncod. England bowler Stuart Broad and Michael. Atherton offer opposing views on new MCC law. Read more. Recommended by. Bonner and Joshua da Silva stuck around with an unbeaten half-century stand to take the hosts to lunch without further loss at 271-5 and the former went on to record the second ton of his test career early on in the evening session before finally falling to Dan Lawrence late in the day, with the hosts closing on. And as if that was not enough for the tourists, they were left with concerns over the fitness of seamer Mark Wood after he was forced from the field within elbow injury which meant he did not return after the lunch break. Scorecard Day 3 in Antigua, as it happened. Sky Cricket YouTube, Cricket Videos, Cricket News. England struggled to press home after early breakthrough. In contrast to the previous day, England's bowling in the morning session was a lot more disciplined as they took advantage of the small amount of reverse. Swing an offer in the overs before the second new ball became available. That was no more evident than when Stokes made the early breakthrough as he lured Holder into playing at one which was edged to Folks, bringing the former. West Indies captain's fifth wicket stand with Bonner to an end at 79. Joined by wicketkeeper Da Silva at the crease, though, Bonner dug in and was rewarded for some judicious shot selection by bringing up the fourth half century of his test career in the 82nd over. The fact it came off 147 balls underlined just how patient the 33-year-old had been at the crease. By that point, England had already taken the new ball, doing so as they had the option to. However, despite being able to keep the hosts to a relatively pedestrian scoring rate they were unable to dislodge either of the batters before lunch. West Indies vs England, Stumps, Day 3. West Indies close on 273-9 Nkrumah Bonner stars for Y with 123 Jason Holder, 45. Fell for the hosts early on Bonner made half-century stand with Joshua Daw. Silva, 32, England bowler Mark Wood suffered elbow injury and did not play after lunch pitch offering little for either batters or bowlers. The closest the tourists came was when Craig Overton thought he had snared Da Silva LBW on 16, but although the umpire originally signaled out it was immediately reviewed by the 23-year-old and subsequently he survived with the ball shown to be going down the leg side. The duo then reached lunch having put on an unbeaten half-century stand and taken the West Indies to within 40 runs of England's first innings total, even. Thought a hosts had only added 69 runs to the overnight score in the morning session. Bonner and co. make tourists toil. That partnership was broken five overs into the afternoon session as left-arm spinner Jack Leach finally got the wicket his efforts deserved, snaring Daw. Silva LBW for 32 and that was swiftly followed by new man in Alzari Joseph, too, hooking Overton to substitute fielder Ollie Pope. The loss of wood due to injury strained England's bowling resources, though, and Bonner continued to be a thorn in their side, eventually bringing up his century by sweeping Leach for four in the first over after tea and bringing it up off a patient 257 balls. At the other end, he had been well supported by an obdurate 15 from 89 balls by Kemar Roach, although he was dislodged thanks to a smart piece of fielding. From Pope to quickly return the ball for Folks to effect the run out after the batters tried to scamper for a single. The Jamaican continued to defy everything the England bowling attack had to throw at him, perhaps leaving Leach the most frustrated when two reviews by England over not out LBW calls from the left arm spinner against Bonner returned verdicts of umpire's call for the ball hitting the wickets. 
Bonner successfully reviewed an LBW call of Stokes which went against him while on 121-2, although he only added two more to his highest test total before. Tickling part-time spinner Lawrence, 1-2, to, to folks with 13 balls of the day remaining. Virasamy Permal, 26 not out, and new man in Jaden Seals, yet to get off to the mark, further frustrated England's bowlers by getting through to the close with one wicket still intact, although the run rate was down to just 1.90 per over as they walked off at the end of the day. Just how much work England's four remaining frontline bowlers got through in Wood's absence was shown in their figures, with Leach, 1-79, bowling a marathon 43. Over so far yet at the same time, keeping his economy rate at 1.84 with an impressive 20 maidens. Chris Wokes, 1-88, and Overton, 2-85, have both got through more than 30 overs, while Stokes, 2-42, has bowled 28 again, though, with a miserly economy rate of just 1.50 and 7 maidens. It remains to be seen, however, whether Wood will be able to return for the final innings and allow England captain Joe Root to share some of the load. What they said, England interim head coach Paul Collingwood, speaking to BT Sport. The attitude in the field on a pretty placid pitch was exceptional. Taking five wickets for 170 runs in a day on a pitch like that, I think you have to be pretty pleased. Sometimes people expect you to bowl teams out quickly but the surface is pretty unresponsive. There is no pace and no turn. You have to find ways to build pressure and I think we did that well. We tried to get reverse swing but when the ball gets soft it can be difficult. We are. Still in the game. Of course we missed, Mark Wood. When you have a 90 miles per hour plus bowler, you want him in the ranks. Injuries happen in sport and we will have to assess that and see how he pulls up. You don't want to go back out there and make it worse.